It did. It was it was a interesting, very interesting That's conversation. Sweet. Listeners, if you're just tuning in, uh, Leo Gilling is in studio. There's there's a very special lady in studio as well, but she tells us she's incognito this afternoon. Uh, she's working behind the scenes. She's a wonderful lady uh, from Northern California. That's all I'll say for now. Back in a moment. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> she was very open there. So You're live by, by the way. That's fine. To me. That's fine. Um, that her, I asked her, how, how rich was her, was, was her family? Right. She says, her family did not have a lot of money. Right. They had a lot of property. Oh. And in those days, agriculture was the key for yeah. living. Right. And so her father would own this whole lot of agricultural property. And when the, the various crops would come in, yeah. when they're starting to, to see the land, then they'll hire a hundred people and they all come in and for a week they see the land. And when 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 it, um then they'll take away, you know, seventy five of them and twenty five prepare the, the, the crop throughout the crop season and then once it's reaping time then they bring back the hundred or hundred and fifty people to come in and reap over a period of time. So that's what how agriculture all agriculture ran in those days. Mm -hmm. they, they they didn't have these type of equipment where they you know the kicker goes in and, and does stuff people. It was all manpower. Oh. So it was really a great you remember that conversation? It was a really, really good conversation. Yeah, no, I mean those people who managed to live some years. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. Yeah. So I hear that we're almost going to have, uh, I was going on to mention that today, but we come back, that you know we had the oldest woman in the person in the world. Right, she died. Right, at 117. I hear we have one in Desmond McKenzie's constituency, in West Kingston, uh, who is, I think she is, Either she just turned or will be 170 next year or something like that. Oh. Yeah. I so was, you see her? I was reading. I wouldn't get an idea to go in. Do you have any questions on, uh, on, Jamaic, on Jamaicans.com? It's comments. It's comments? Someone said, you promised to go live. Thank you for going live on your vacation. <laughs> ah, <laughs> who, who was that? Um, I had to restart it, but the same time you went down over there, it went down oh, here. You know, you so I had to restart it. It's on okay, the, so her okay. name is on the last one. It's going to be two videos. Oh, oh wow. Not sure. Oh, two is not again. Not sure. So when it goes down here, you have to bring it up. Mm -hmm. Do you lose um, complete signal? No, it doesn't die totally. Um, this one didn't come back up. It just keeps spinning and spinning. Okay. But when I click finish and starts again, it started, but it didn't come back on its own. Oh, I need to come back to this question. There's this question about the school there, Marie Cole. You know it? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah. So, oh, I, that's what I wanted to bring up. Uh, Desmond McKenzie's constituent. There's Mon Mackenzie. Oldest. Let's try and that search sequence. Mackenzie holds special function to honor Jamaica's oldest person. Right. This is the you should go to that first one. Pins and needles in my toes right now. It's called age. Coming up. Let's see. Here we go. Ida Troop is her name. A retired vendor who was among the first people to move into Tivoli Gardens when the housing development was constructed in 1963. She was born on the 25th of December 1900. I will say, yes, so she celebrated her birthday. Yeah. yeah. Stand by.
Thank you so much for staying with us here on your program, Both Sides of the Story, Power 106 FM. I'm Dervan Malcolm, my uh, guest co-host at this rate, right? I don't know how much time he has, but I'm converting him to co-host already. Uh, Leo Gilling, and uh, uh, the question, oh, I, was, I wanted to mention while we were talking years, I wanted to mention that you know, Jamaica had the, the oldest woman uh, who died, the oldest woman in the world, or the oldest person in the world, the world's oldest person. Now I see Desmond Mackenzie uh, is telling us, he's the Member of Parliament for Western Kingston and Minister of Local Government, that uh, he, well, apparently he hosted a special function to honor Jamaica's oldest living person on Christmas Day, Ida Troop. She, Ida Troop, she was born on the 25th of December 1900 and uh, she was among the first people to move into Tivoli Gardens when the housing development was constructed back in 1963. That's a good woman though, Yeah. yeah she's, uh, she was born, she's a Capricorn. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, didn't you celebrate a birthday a couple of days ago, Leo Gilly? Yeah, it's on the 24th. The 24th, <laughs> Christmas Eve, look at that. Christmas Eve. Uh, my, my mom, don't, she doesn't call me until the time that she gave birth. Okay. So either she called, she called me twice in yes. that day, but she didn't tell me happy birthday on those previous times. Oh. She told me happy birthday at 4 p.m. On, on the 24th. Well, I was born just after 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It was a Wednesday at Victoria Jubilee Hospital. Yes. Yes, yes I have What's the your date of birth, anyway? Huh? Is it October or something? October. Okay, okay, yes. okay. Yes. It doesn't say that you're a good man already. It just says <laughs> Behave yourself. <laughs> <laughs> now to the question. Hi, Monica Fuchs here. This is a very curious Monica. Uh, notice the way I pronounce it. Oh, you're careful, Mr. Gilling. F U C H S I A. Right? So, and uh, Colleen says, Hey, Leo. Hello, That's Queen. Colleen Realist Richardson. Hello, she's my good friend. Send yes. me a girl, power. Okay. Send me your power. Uh, careful, Mr. Gilling. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is Jamaica, you know, those things have oh, uh, political. Oh, Lord of mercy. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, <laughs> uh, all right.